Whenever you purchase a property, you need to have a fallback position. My name is Colin Frager, and for this property that we're standing on today, the fallback position was a granny flat or a secondary dwelling. However, we did our numbers based on it being a dual occupancy subdivision. Why is it important to have a fallback position? Because the council approval process is quite difficult, it is uncertain, and even though the law is certain, it can be interpreted in different ways by a different assessing officer. So there's no 100% guarantee that you are going to achieve council approval for what you want. However, that's where the money is made. To make a return, you've got to make a risk. And your job is to minimize that risk. To minimize the risk, I highly recommend you have that certified town planner by your side to be able to fully assess the project to work out what the development options are. At the council approval group, we have trained people who do this every single day of the week, and we have now literally done over 12,000 projects. So a fallback position may be as simple as a granny flat or a secondary dwelling, but a fallback position might also be, well, what if I need to sell it? What's the worst case scenario and can you live with that? Chances are, even if you just buy a property and you hold on to it, the market will rise and you'll be able to sell it at a profit.